Hi, this is the first in a series of presentations on Web3 Gaming DAO legal issues. A little bit about me. I'm Thomas Plunkett. I uh, am an attorney with the Virginia State Bar and the U.S. Patent Bar. Uh, everything I'm going to talk about in this presentation is going to be on federal law, U.S. federal law. I'm not going to talk about other jurisdictions, and I won't be talking about specific states either. Um, I've got previous experience with forming Web3 Gaming DAOs. I've also been an expert witness in Web3 gaming litigation, and I teach classes on Ethereum, Bitcoin, and cryptocurrency regulation. Uh, and I myself have taken a lot of classes on those topics. I've completed graduate courses in blockchain and crypto from Stanford University. I've got a master's degree in blockchain and digital currency from the University of Nicosia in Cyprus, as well as a master's degree in computer science from Virginia Tech and a BA and a Juris Doctorate from George Mason University. So Web3 gaming DAOs have growing legal issues. The first blockchain-based game was Satoshi Dice in 2012, and there have been literally thousands of blockchain-based games created since 2012. Uh, and DAOs, or Decentralized Autonomous Organizations, have also been increasing in popularity since the DAO was created back in 2016. And gaming communities, even before the blockchain, have a long history. So it makes sense that if you're going to have a gaming community, you may as well make it an online gaming community to, to access other people. And then if you're in the blockchain space, a DAO as an online gaming community is a perfect fit. Um, so this presentation and the series of presentations is really focused in on addressing the various legal issues that are facing Web3 gaming DAOs today. So here is my current list of Web3 gaming DAO legal issues. Um, perhaps the first one is legal entity formation, which gets into the issue of uh, when do you need a legal entity? The second probably uh, biggest issue gets to do with intellectual property rights for the DAO in terms of who owns the IP rights for non-fungible tokens that are associated with the DAO, uh, the artwork, the brands, and so on. The third, uh, probably most important issue has to do with security regulation issues for tokens that are associated with the DAO. Uh, some of the other issues, you've got anti-money laundering regulations, consumer protection issues, data privacy issues, uh, just fundamental business issues like can the DAO make contracts, have employees, uh, how do you handle the grants that the DAO might make or receive, uh, tax regulations for a DAO. Uh, can be a really important issue. And, and finally, uh, an upcoming issue is for many of these DAOs are beginning to bring in artificial intelligence generated content. Well, there's a variety of different legal issues around the AI generated content as well. Um, so this is what I'm going to attempt to attempt in this series, uh, attempt to present in this series of presentations. So I'm looking forward to it. Thank you for watching this video and please check out some of the upcoming videos if you're interested.